So although a gross simplification, the endocannabinoid system can be broken down into four core components. First up, we have the cannabinoid receptors. Hi, this is the Feel Better Show. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Knox family, pioneering endocannabinologists up in Portland, Oregon. I got the chance to visit with them in their home and I asked them, what do patients and consumers need to know when they're looking for products in dispensaries? And here's what they had to say. Well, the first thing as clinician, and we do call ourselves endocannabinologists, and what that means is that we base everything we do off the physiology, the science, and the research. And what are we actually talking about when we're talking about cannabis? So the first thing I want patients to know, one size doesn't fit all. What may work for your neighbor or even your loved one may not work for you. And then what are you looking for? What are you trying to address in your life? And what cannabinoid can we suggest that's the best use for you? What I think they should prioritize when deciding what product is best for them. I think first, they need, they need to know why they're using it. Um, do you want to wind down? Do you want to re relax or sleep? Do you want to address pain? Do you want to address anxiety? Do you want to address cancer? The reason you're using cannabis matters. And patients and consumers, you need to know exactly why, because that's going to dictate what you get. Beyond that, it's critically important to always appraise whatever you might be putting in or on your body. It's a matter of educating the public, educating the healthcare providers to talk a different language, right? We're no longer talking about marijuana or weed. Let's talk about which cannabinoids to use, which terpenes to use, how do you use it, how often do you use it, how much do you use? And more importantly, when you go into that dispensary, do you know how to read a label? Because that label should tell you everything there is about that product. Which cannabinoids are there, which terpenes, the profiles, the milligram content, if it's been lab tested, all those things become really important when we're teaching people to buy a product for their health. By and large, read the label, because that label is going to tell you what's in it, how much is in it, how much is the serving size, and it has usually a QR code or some other indication that you can look up a certificate of analysis that you can use to ensure that this product is of high quality, and by that I mean safe for consumption. With any product that you're willing to put your money out and purchase, you want to make sure it's a quality product that's going to give you what it's promising on the label. And uh, so number one, that third party analysis uh, that uh, certifies that yes, what is on this label is accurate. Uh, we've shown it by lab testing. You know, the, the testing we uh, always expect is gonna show uh, the profile, uh, that is, you know, which cannabinoids are present. You know, CBD, THC, other minor cannabinoids, you know, what amounts, uh, you know, what ratios. Uh, of course, though, the very important thing is that uh, it's tested for toxins, you know, heavy metals, uh, other contaminants, you know, residual uh, pesticides, solvents. You know, again, it's an organic product and uh, it's an accumulator plant. You want to make sure that your end product uh, is uh, really uh, doesn't deliver any of those uh, unwanted uh, components. We, we now talk about being well instead of you know, trying to heal. How do we keep people well? I would tell people in a heartbeat, everyone should be using something to treat their physiology. And that physiology is the endocannabinoid system. And it hasn't become more apparent than our living through this COVID thing, right? This COVID apocalypse is what I call it. If we had taught people to support their immune systems via the endocannabinoid system. How pervasive would this, this COVID have been? That's something we need to talk about and think about, right? So how, how pervasive would this have been if people were allowed to use cannabis or any other plant medicine in a way that supported being well, instead of waiting till someone getting sick and scrambling to try to find an answer? So that's my lesson to, to patients looking for education. Understand one size doesn't fit all. Know what you're looking for in terms of cannabinoids and terpenes. And know how to read your labels and expect lab reports. And if you can't do that, find an endocannabinologist who can help you do that. The patient and consumer has a responsibility too to use the weight of their dollar to promote products that are doing the right thing. And by that, I mean 
growing sustainably, organically, um, supporting products that are patient-centric and equity-centric. Um, so yeah, we all have to do our homework. We have to make sure that the brands that we're support supporting not only work for us, but also that they're we're holding them to a standard of social responsibility too. Cannabis is here to stay. It's not gonna go anywhere. But I think the division is gonna be between what's natural and what's synthetic. And I think the synthetics are here and they're not going anywhere. But I think once again, education plays a huge part. It's how well the, we, we teach people to understand the products they're using. You know, I'm a conventional medicine doctor. I'm not against conventional medicine. I just think we haven't used them correctly. We can integrate and use things together, conventional and natural remedies, including cannabis, which happens to be just the most versatile herb that works on that endocannabinoid system. So what do I see in the future? Cannabis is going to play a big role in continuing to disrupt the world. And it's going to depend on how well we understand the physiology it addresses and how well we understand the pharmacology and then the correct application of the two. To learn more, please check out the links in our description. The Knox Doctors have an amazing collection of educational courses and materials online, all to help you feel better.